Hello students, welcome again. Today we will continue the topic statistics. In our last lecture, we defined statistics in its plural sense. Now, we will define it in singular sense. In singular, statistics is defined as a science or in this sense, it is a study of statistical methods. In singular sense, it is defined on the basis of functions of statistics. It is also defined as analytical statistics in its singular sense. It is concerned with collection, classification, tabulation, presentation and analysis of data relating to a particular field of study. Definition in singular sense may be divided into two subparts, traditional definition and modern definition. But traditional definition of statistics in singular sense is considered as incomplete. So, our focus will be only on modern definition of statistics. Statistics is a method of decision making in the face of uncertainty on the basis of numerical data and calculated risk. One more definition given by Croxton and Cowden is that statistics or statistical method may be defined as a science of collection, presentation, analysis and interpretation of numerical data. This definition is quite satisfactory. After discussing the various definition of statistics both in plural and singular sense, we may conclude that statistics is both a science and an art. It provides tool and methods for analysis of data, so it is a science. And it involves required skill, experience and patience while using statistical tool, so it is an art also functions of statistics. As we know that importance of statistics is increasing continuously, statistics play an important role in our every field. Therefore, now it becomes necessary to know that what does statistics do. Students, it is the time to know the functions of statistics. The main and foremost function of statistics is to simplify the complex fact as it present the facts and figures in the form of graphs and diagrams. In the form of diagrams and graphs, typical data can also be understood by a common man. In the form of diagrams and graphs, the data can be retained in mind for a very long period of time instead in the form of complex facts. The second important function of statistics is to make comparison of various facts. Various statistical methods like average, rates, percentages, ratios are used for such comparison. Statistics also helps in establishing relationship between two or more facts by using statistical methods like correlation. It establishes the relationship between demand and supply, price and demand, rainfall and agricultural production, etc. Statistics not only establishes the relationship, but it also shows the degree of relationship between them. Now, important point to know about statistics is that it estimates for the present and forecast for the future. As we know, the business is full of risk and uncertainties, therefore correct forecasting is essential to reduce the uncertainties in business. We make predictions on the basis of given data and past records. For example, on the basis of the population figure of last years, it may be estimated that what will be the expected population in future. For making these predictions, statistical tools such as interpolation, extrapolation, time series analysis, etc. are used. The fifth function of statistics is that 
with the help of it different policy decisions may be taken logically and successfully for example price policy export import policy fiscal policy monetary policy trade policy population policy industrial policy etc may be framed with the help of statistics policies with the help of statistics may be formulated in social economic political and business field interpretations of many problems may also be done with the help of various statistical devices for example by collecting the data of unemployment the nature of unemployment in the economy may be interpreted that is with the collection of data we may know the nature of unemployment we may know whether the unemployment which exist in country is voluntary unemployment casual unemployment frictional unemployment disguised unemployment seasonal technological cyclical chronic structural or what is the type of unemployment and with the help of statistics remedial steps can also be taken to reduce such particular type of unemployment statistics not only frames the policies but it also measures their effect for example we can measure with the help of statistics the effect of change in lending rates of banks on investment statistics enlarges individual knowledge and experience it is true that many fields of knowledge would have remained closed to mankind without the useful techniques of statistical analysis so on the basis of functions discussed above we can automatically understand that what a statistician does yes you have thought correctly the functions performed by a statistician are collection of data analysis of data and interpretation of data after discussing the functions of statistics now it is the turn of importance of statistics as we said in ancient time the use of statistics was limited to the arrangement of data related to administration of government only but now it has occupied an important role in the study of all sciences like economical science political science social science and natural science today statistics affects each and every person and touches several aspect of his life the importance of statistics has increased to such an extent that without knowledge of statistics it is impossible to understand even the basic principles of psychology sociology economics and physical science economist scientist businessman farmer doctor lawyer social worker all are indebted for statistical science because they depend upon statistics to support their facts and statements from routine daily activities to the formation of national laws almost all activities depend upon statistics overall it will not be inappropriate to say that knowingly or unknowingly we use the basic principle of statistics in the selection of our friends in the selection of our spouse in selection of business partner food clothes professional as well as to save ourselves from the apprehension of losses etc now we will discuss the importance of statistics in detail in different fields statistics is important to the government the importance of statistics has increased so much for the government that statistical data are called eyes of administration statistics is important for government in different ways like government prepares its budget on the basis of actual data for the last year and estimates for the future government collect data relating to population production import export national income unemployment poverty etc from the view of various economic programs and policies 
many policies of government like licensing policy, industrial policy, fiscal policy, agricultural policy are formulated on the basis of statistics. Not only this, knowledge and use of statistical methods help the government to get desired results quickly and effectively. From the view of defense also, data are required to determine the needs of military force. In short, we can say that adequate and accurate data are very important for smooth functioning of government administration. Statistics is also important for economic planning. Economic planning means making of major economic decisions on the basis of a comprehensive survey of the economy as a whole. You know, modern age is an age of planning. Almost every nation in the world, whether developed or developing, has adopted economic planning. In fact, planning is visualized on the basis of data and the achievements of plan are analyzed through statistical methods. Hence, it is said that planning without statistics is a ship without rudder and compass. We can say, that planning on the basis of inadequate and inaccurate statistics is worse than no planning at all. Now, third importance of statistics is in trade and business. With the growing size and increasing competition, the problems of business enterprises have become complex. Now, it is the statistics which is lifeline of business and industry. In every business, estimates and probabilities have important place because every businessman determines its policy and targets on the basis of these estimates and probabilities. He also decides the volume of sale and arranges different resources of production on the basis of these estimates. In business, the manufacturer is always interested to estimate the immediate and future demand of his product and this objective can be achieved by properly conducted market survey and research. And this survey and research greatly depends on statistical methods. The trends in production and sales can be determined by statistical methods like time series analysis. Similarly, the correlation and regression analysis can be used to judge the effectiveness of various sales promotion measures. Therefore, many large enterprises have started to establish a separate department of statistics for making quality control, budgetary control, scientific management, business forecasting, etc. It will not be exaggeration to say that today nearly every decision in business is made with the help of statistical data and statistical methods. And if statistics is removed from the business, the business world would be paralyzed. So it was the importance of statistics in trade and industry. Statistics is also important for railway and other transport agencies. Railways and other transport agencies use statistical data in making transportation arrangements, determining freight and estimating the facilities required for passengers. Statistics is also important for various entities apart from railway, business and industry. Example, a bank manager after keeping in view the data related to changes in demand for money trade cycle, investment environment and policy of the central bank decides how much should be capped in cash reserve and how to make investment of the remaining balance. Statistical methods help in credit rating of the customers. It is equally important for brokers. A broker in stocks and shares can be more successful if he understand the use of probability theory to appraise the expected return on various investment portfolio. 
statistical analysis helps the investor also in selecting those securities which are safe and which have the best prospect of yielding good income or appreciation in value. Statistics is also important for insurance company. The insurance companies use the actuarial valuation to find out the financial risk of current life policies which would mature on uncertain future dates. This is done on the basis of life expectancy studies of the policy holders in different age groups which is a statistical work. Mortality tables are constructed and premium rates are determined with the help of these tables. Can you think statistics is also important for politicians? Now you will ask how? From the view of politicians also, statistical data are of specific significance. They study various problems of the country with the help of data and on that basis they present their views before the government or the parliament. Statistical data are also important measurement of various social issues and in evaluation of various problems arising out of them. For example, before preparing any scheme or reform related to illiteracy, poverty, baggery, drug addictiveness, immoral trafficking etc., collection of adequate data becomes a necessity. So, students, we will keep our today's lecture till here. Today we discussed the definition of statistics in singular sense with its function and also the importance of statistics. But as we said that statistics is important in every field, therefore this subject needs more elaboration, which we will do in the next and last lecture of this chapter. So, thanks for today.